Hello and welcome to this third video in the Back to Church Sunday training series. I'm Jason Day, the Executive Director of the Back to Church Sunday Movement. And in this video, we're going to be focusing on promoting your Back to Church Sunday celebration. Now, the reality is there are so many different ways that you can promote Back to Church Sunday. But regardless of how you promote it, the key is you want to start promoting as early as you possibly can. You want to get your people excited about inviting others to church. So all remember focusing on mobilizing your people to have those spiritual conversations, to make those invitations. So you want to share details about the celebration and any follow-up events that you might be planning. You want to ask for additional volunteers to serve as greeters or child care helpers, hospitality team, parking lot team, um, anywhere that you know that you're going to need additional people to help as you're welcoming new people into your church on that Sunday. And so keep your people updated. Keep them inspired with newsletters or emails or text messages, announcements, bulletin inserts. There are lots of different ways that you can stay in front of your people. If you have the Back to Church Sunday kit, you can share the included invite and promo videos with everyone in your church. You can show them um, on a Sunday morning during your worship gathering and talk about the importance of Back to Church Sunday, encouraging people, putting that challenge in front of them to be praying for those people that God is putting on their hearts and to take action and make those invitations. Um, altogether, these are great ways to encourage them to be praying and to be inviting. So you really want to keep this in front of your people every single week leading up to Back to Church Sunday. We really recommend you, you look at starting five or six weeks out, five or six weeks before Back to Church Sunday and get this in front of your people, encourage them throughout those weeks and build this momentum up to this Sunday celebration. To help you better kind of think through the variety of ways that you can promote Back to Church Sunday, I want to break them down into two primary categories. Um, we're going to talk about collective. Um, these are activities that are done at kind of a church-wide level. And then we're going to talk about personal. And these are activities that are done by individuals or maybe family units. So you have collective and personal ways of promoting Back to Church Sunday. So let's talk about these collective ways that your church can invite your community to Back to Church Sunday. You're going to want to use creative ideas and high quality communication tools to really reach out in your neighborhood. You can send out direct mail postcards inviting your community to your event. Uh, you can hang a banner outside your church to attract people who might be passing by or driving by. You want to remember to include your service times and your website on that banner. You can also get the word out that your church is participating in Back to Church Sunday and that your whole community is welcome and invited by placing flag banners in front of your church. These are eye-catching tools which will help build on the Back to Church Sunday theme and create buzz in your neighborhood. You can organize volunteers in your church to distribute door hangers in those neighborhoods that are closest to your church. Uh, you can buy donuts for everyone and meet at the church on a Saturday morning, divide everyone up in twos or threes, and then send them out to different streets, different blocks around your church to saturate your neighborhood. Have them wear their Back to Church Sunday t-shirts as they walk around the community and hang a door hanger on the knob of every home in your area. You'll also want to be sure to update your church website with all of your Back to Church Sunday information. You can consider creating a separate and specific landing page on your website. Um, this is a place which you can direct people to learn more about your Back to Church Sunday celebration. This is helpful if you're doing social media posts and social media ads. You can use social media to announce your worship celebration on Facebook, on Instagram. You can do a TikTok video. You can uh, post on Twitter. There are a variety of ways that you can get the word out on social media. You can even create a Facebook event for your Back to Church Sunday celebration and encourage people to share that. Uh, the church kit includes many professionally designed social media graphics which your church can use, even some short videos that you can post. So you want to encourage the people in your church to like, share, and comment on any of these social media posts that you make. 
You can also launch a social media ads campaign. Uh, this enables your church to geographically target people who live in your area with an invitation to Back to Church Sunday. And in those ads, you can point them back to that landing page we just discussed on your website that gives the information for your Back to Church Sunday celebration. So consider doing a social media ads campaign to reach people uh, on their phone as they're scrolling through and invite them to your church and to your celebration. You can also send text and emails to your people, encouraging them to pray and invite. And so the church can send out texts to all the people that are part of your church or, or send ongoing emails and just give them encouragement to have that conversation with their neighbor, their coworker, their friend, their classmate, whomever that might be, and invite them to church. Another way to collectively get the word out is to post on community calendars. Now, Every single community has different places where they have calendars of events and things that are happening. You want to find those places in your particular community. You can reach out and contact newspapers, uh, TV, radio stations, local magazines, um, mail out uh, coupon flyers, you know, those that we get in our mailbox regularly, uh, recreation centers, clubs, coffee houses, anyone who, who posts up a calendar of events. Now, you can also reach out to websites about local news and local events in your community. Oftentimes they are looking for information that they can post on their website. So you want to be sure to include promo copy um, about your event as well as specifics when it comes to times, the date, um, location information, all the details that someone needs. And then you want to get on the air in print and on the web. Um, ask local radio stations, new, newspapers, local websites to really promote your event. You never know what might happen. We've had churches who actually have had um, news stations come and do a story on their church around Back to Church Sunday, and it's on their local news. So you never know what might come. So take the time to reach out to some of these local um, media outlets in your area and share what your church is doing and see if they'll be able to uh, promote your event as well. You can develop a press release for these local, local news outlets and really get the word out to them. So there's a variety of ways that collectively on a church-wide level um, that your ministry leadership team can prayerfully think through, plan, choose, and resource different ways that you can reach your community um, from your church as a whole. So that's, that's the first area of kind of promotion. The second area of promotion, as I mentioned, is uh, personal engagement, personal promotions. And there's nothing more powerful than a personal invitation. This holds true. You want to encourage and equip your members to personally get involved in inviting others. Now, we've talked about this a lot, right? So you want to put that mission-focused challenge in front of them. You want them to be praying that God would lay um, some names on their heart and that they would have the courage to reach out to these people and invite them to church. Again, keep this in front of them. That is the, the core and the heartbeat of Back to Church Sunday, mobilizing your people to invite their friends, neighbors, and coworkers to hear the gospel at your church. And so the real key though for this is to make inviting simple. And the way you can make inviting simple is by supplying tools and plenty of encouragement. Again, keep this in front of your people. Now invite cards are a great way to help your people easily invite their friends. So these invitation cards are something that they could share with their neighbors, their coworkers, or their classmates and invite them to your Back to Church Sunday celebration. You want to be sure to hand these invite cards out to the people in your church several weeks in advance of your celebration. And you want to make them available each week leading up to Back to Church Sunday and encourage them every single week to take those invite cards and to make an invitation that week. It's a great way for them to get engaged and personally involved. And when you put something tangible in their hands, they're more likely to make that invitation. When someone receives a tangible physical invitation, they're more likely to take action on that invitation. So get those into your people's hands. You want to mobilize your people to reach their neighbors. Uh, one of the great ways to do this is by making door hangers available. You can get door hangers that, that are printed complete with the imagery and the theme for Back to Church Sunday and you can get them into your people's hands. And one of the ways that we've seen work very, very effectively is to ask um, every person or every family unit to commit to what we call the dozen door challenge. 
And basically they take 12 door hangers, you give them to that family or that individual, and they take and they place a door hanger on the 12 nearest homes on their block or nearest doors in their building, inviting those people closest to them. This helps you get your people mobilized to engage with people where they live in their own neighborhoods, which is incredibly important. So collectively as a church, you can reach out to people around your church physical location, but you also want personally to get people reaching out to the families and the neighbors around their homes where they live. Now a great way to unite your people around Back to Church Sunday is to provide t-shirts for them to wear in the weeks leading up to your Back to Church Sunday celebration. Now, the shirts become a great conversation starter and they help your people feel connected to the Back to Church Sunday cause. It's a great way to rally your people together. You wanna encourage your, your greeters, your hospitality team, your volunteers, your ministry leaders to wear their t-shirts on Back to Church Sunday so that people can easily identify those in your church who can provide them, answer their questions, provide them with more information and who are serving in that capacity. Now, for more ideas, and to actually see a lot of these ideas in action, you can join our Facebook group where churches share how they are preparing, how they are promoting, and how they're celebrating Back to Church Sunday. There are lots of photos that churches upload there and share and give you great ideas and creative ideas. And again, you can make Back to Church Sunday as creative as you want. You can make it uniquely fit your own context, your congregation, your church, and your community. So tons of different ways that you can promote, but make sure that you're promoting early. If you want to join us on Facebook, you can find us at backtochurch.com slash Facebook. We look forward to seeing how your church is preparing and promoting and celebrating Back to Church Sunday.